Okay, I'm going to design this a really good Equiripple low pass FIR filter. It's going to be done quickly, and I'm going to convert that to almost an equivalent in IAR. Okay, here's Sketcherfield. I uh, go up here and take my low pass and set my target profile parameters to make this a sharp cutoff at 0.18 normalized frequency terms, get rid of the default frequency sampling, and instead go into user def. I'm right clicking on this button here, going up to number six currently, which is my favorite, which is the equiripple corridor technique of uh, Ivan Selesnik, in which you're able to interact directly by your weighting on the, uh, the ripples and leave the transition bands to take care of themselves. So I click on that and I invoke it and bang I've got a filter. I will want to look at this in dB scale so I'll go here to dB gain and I'll go minus 90 to plus 5 on that and have a look at it and I have control of these things. I have control of the sideband the, down here in the passband. I can just move this slider. Very, very handy. I'm going to put 80 as my side lobe level. Get rid of that. Uh, go to look a little bit more closely what's going on in the in the uh, passband by changing that to go between minus 1 and plus 1. So I get a good close look. And I can see that just has been promised here that's about 1 dB peak to peak. I'm going to change that to 0.3 and there it is. So I'm happy with that design. That's a linear phase FIR done quite painlessly. I'm going to use my tools here to measure its goodness and here it comes up. It's showing me in the past band 0.3 bang on just as we had hoped. 80 out in the stop band just as promised and this is requiring then a transition width to do all this with 63 coefficients uh, what was it? 0.0498-ish. I'll put that off to the side in case I need to refer to it again. And consider the issue of an IR equivalent. Well, uh, IR filters aren't supposed to be linear phase. This is straight away uh, something which is going to concern me because here it is, an impulse response up here, nice and even symmetric about the middle of this at uh, 63 minus 1 over 2. That's 31 group delay. And uh, I'll invoke the Brandon Stein Unbehauen algorithm, which is quite a wonderful one, and I'll bring it up with its default 29th order. Now, if this works, it's a good savings already because this is numerator and denominator, roughly speaking, two times then 2958 uh, multiplies as opposed to the 63 ish. So, this would already be a pretty good save. You can see that the uh, passband is good, it's right on top of that. So let me see what price I might be paying out in the stop band by going down here to um, minus 90, was the sort of scale I had before. And you can see that what's happening is that it's uh, pretty much uh, better, in fact, except for one little point. To be able to see this better, I'll go up to the my tools, have a look, see all filters, and blow it up to full scale. They're now lying on top of each other, and I'll go to dB gain and you can see that what's happening is there's a little bit of a tab here where it's just coming up a little bit higher out here in the stop band. I can toggle between those and examine them and it's a pretty attractive IR filter so far. Let me look at it and, and see what's going on here. If I look at the pole zero pattern, I, I see that in fact there must be still some redundancy in here. This brand Howen has got some poles falling almost on top of zero. There, 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 and there. Um, not quite so bad there. So roughly speaking, it makes me think, and this is not all that far off, roughly it makes me think I might be able to save about four more orders uh, and get this thing down even smaller perhaps without any big disaster. I'm going to go down, uh, that would be 25, I'm going to go down to 23 and see what I get away with. Well, not a whole lot worse. Uh, let me look at it here perhaps on this scale and uh, put, overlay them by the hitting show and looking again. 
it hasn't gotten much worse there has it been hurt in the past band not at all they're really falling right on top of each other and now how about my uh, and my uh, yes this still seems I could perhaps save another order uh, and otherwise the poles are not right smack on top so I'll go down I'll go down a little bit more uh, I'll go down to 20 I'll just go to 22nd order I'll be a bit checky oh it uh, didn't hurt it too much I'll go to 21 then if you insist and there it is okay so it's beginning to get a little bit bad right on that little tang right there in that gain but uh, I can now make a quality measure and just see if anything else has raised its head I'll do a quality measure on the Brandon Stein Umba Highland design and up it comes well it hasn't hurt me much in the past band I've still got oh, more or less 0.3 just a little bit worse the transition width has not gone out of control at all it was 0 0.0 what was it 0.0 four nine eight anyway before so that hasn't hurt as much the only place we've been hurt very much is the uh, about four db at the that little stop band tang of course i could get that down a bit if i went up in my order but of course i'm really liking this because this is roughly speaking two times 21 42 multiplies as opposed to 63 multiplies so there is a substantial economy there remaining question is why in the world do I think I should have any hope with this anyway? Because how can a IR filter be linear phase? Well, it can't exactly, except if I looked at the wrapped, unwrapped phase, you notice that what happens is quite linear across the pass band, and the badness has been parked out in the stop band. So a good and attractive design.